Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Adriana and it is very nice to meet you. If you are returning, hey, I'm back and I'm back with that video I said I was going to do. So I am here doing a um, mock notarization for an acknowledgement and jurat. I want to show you how to fill out both of them and um, just, you know, some some notes and what I know, um, what I learned from Easy Notary class. If you have not taken that class and if you are interested in the loan signing agent business, please take that class so that you can understand the basics of being a notary public and what it entitles to. That is very important. First and foremost, before becoming a loan signing agent, you need to be a commissioned notary public. So learn how to be that first. Um, here is the video. I'm going to be um, giving you a different view and I will be, you know, just signing some unreal names and putting unreal, you know, numbers. I do not have my notary public stamp yet. I am still waiting on my commission packet and I have not ordered my stamp because I, I needed that certificate of authorization. So in the meantime, I am here sharing videos of um, the knowledge that I have acquired on my journey so far and, you know, in hopes that it will help out a lot of you too. So here is that video. Hope you enjoy. So first and foremost, before doing any of this, you always check the signer's ID and make sure that it is not expired. Always. This is an acknowledgement and these are two different forms. Um, one of them I just got straight off of Google and the other one on the right I did get it on easynotaryclass.com. These are free and it does say sample on there um, because this is the sample. But these are, you know, just examples of how an acknowledgement here for the state of California, how that looks like. So, so for an acknowledgement, this is basically the signer acknowledging that they signed that it is their signature and that they did this under their own free will. No one is forcing them. You know, it's it's all on them. OK, so you check their signature to match the signature that is on their ID that you checked. OK, always make sure that it matches, um, you know, that it looks somewhat the same. So up here we have the notice or disclaimer statement. This is the venue. This is where you're actually located when you sign. This is the date and the way that you want to set your date is, you know, full year and everything. Over here, you have before me and that's you, the notary public, and you always put comma notary public. Um, make sure you put that title. This right here is a statement of particulars. You do have to make sure that it is grammatically correct. So make sure that that's crossed out like the he she's and all that personally appeared for the signer make sure that you put the name and then put a line all the way across so that you minimize the chances of forgery basically um because that is your job so you see here i zoomed in a little bit so that you can see where you cross out you know the he his you know is make it you know if it's one person two per, two people just make sure that it's grammatically correct and you know if it's two signers you put the first signer's name and then you put the, and the second signer and if there's still space still put a line after the second signer this part right here is the penalty of perjury clause basically letting everyone know that they are under penalty of perjury this right here is the testimonium clause, and this is where your signature goes, and that is where your stamp goes. If I had my stamp, I would put my stamp right there. Now, you do have to ask, do you acknowledge that this is your signature and that you signed voluntarily? Or you can say something like, is this your signature and did you sign under your own free will? Either way is good to go. Just make sure that you say that and make sure that you get a verbal yes or no always always you have to get that from them so one thing i learned from coast to coast signings which is a signing agency that i will be signing up with is the signer's name right that the one where it's like personally appeared in the signer okay the signer's name is the same 
it's written the same way that they signed the document you're notarizing, not the way it shows on ID. So look at the document that you're notarizing, right? Like if it's a deed of trust, look at the way that they signed on there and the way that the, the name is, is written. That is how you're going to write it after the personally appeared part in this um, acknowledgement notarial certificate. So another thing is always making sure that it has the disclaimer or notice statement. This was added in 2015. Um, if it is missing or if it is out of state, you do have to add one for California. So add the California all-purpose acknowledgement loose leaf certificate. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. The county, this is where you are physically located at the time of the signing. This could be LA County, Orange County, San Diego, you know, wherever. Now, this next part for the date, you always want to make sure that the date is a long date and that there you're you're not leaving any room for anyone to try to forge something so even the year make sure the year is a long year not a short year um you know like it's 21 someone could easily say it's 1921 so put 2021 before me is your name one thing i do want to tell you is this right your name here and the way that you sign it on the notary public signature is exactly the way that you did your notary public application so however you did your name on there is how you have to write in and sign on every single notarial act um certificate so personally appeared we're just going to put john smith um and then if there is nobody else on you know the document that i need to notarize then you put a line and then you sign and you're going to sign the same way that it is on your your commission and this is where you put your stamp. If I had my stamp, that is where I would put my stamp. Now, the stamp doesn't look like that. It could be round. It could be um, rectangular. But yeah, make sure you stamp that. And again, if there was another signer, you would put and whoever, you know, I can't think of another name right now. But whoever the, the other signer would be, you um, would put that there. And as far as this bottom part, the optional information, um, this is, okay, so every notarial certificate, right, like, you know, these, like, an acknowledgement or a jurat, it's always, you know, attached to some document. So that's where you know the document. Um, I'm going to try to look for an example in the loan documents that I got from notary to notary. <coughs> If I can find one, I am going to show you real quick. But basically, um, this could be like, let's see, like a deed of trust. And behind eight pages of the deed of trust, it's going to be the acknowledgement part. The, the notarial wording, you know, is going to begin there. If the notarial wording is cut off or if it does not include the disclaimer or notice statement, or if it is out of state, make sure that it does have that notice or disclaimer statement and that it is, um, you know, appropriate for California. And if it is not, you add a loose certificate form. Always add that. This is an example, okay? Deed of trust. Um, this is off of notary to notary. As you can tell, the logo was right there. And this is all of, you know, Vanessa, Vanessa Terry's information and if you want to get um, samples of this, definitely check out her class. But this is what I mean. At the end of the, the eight pages, there's like this. But you see how this does not have California, you know, notarial wording. Um, we're going to have to attach a acknowledgement certificate, like a loose certificate form. So, which would be one of these. This is a sample, but um, you can get these off of easy notary or the NNA or I'm not too sure where else, but that is where you would put um, the document type, the pages and the date. And then on this side, the signer capacity. Um, in California, we are not authorized to certify the capacity of the signer. Um, 
so that part i mean i'm not too sure if anyone can help me out with that part that would be lovely but this is an optional part and it is not required only that that top part right there okay you guys sorry about that my camera okay so here we have the california giraffe again i got the one on the left just straight off of google um doing a regular search california jared and this is what came up the one on the right is from easy notary class it does say sample only but when you become a student obviously um you're able to download this and it won't say sample only and you can use this for all of your loan signings the jared is you know similar to the acknowledgement you got a disclaimer statement you have the venue um you know the date signer the difference here is an acknowledgement says personally appeared and a jurist is sub subscribed and sworn to or affirmed before me on this day. Um, and it doesn't have the, you know, the perjury clause right there. And this is a statement of particulars. This, you know, it's there, the seal part, right? And then here you say, do you swear or affirm that the statements in this document are true? Or you can say something like, do you swear or affirm that the content of this or the contents of this document are true and correct to the best of your knowledge? And another thing, the jurat cannot be signed ahead of time. It must be signed in front of the notary public, never, ever ahead of time. Only the acknowledgement, the jurat, you cannot. So, yeah, there's that. Um, they are under penalty of perjury because they do uh, an oath or affirmation, but, you know, it doesn't have that on the other side. Um, so here filling it out, we, you know, can do a notarization anywhere in California. So it doesn't have to be in the county that you originally, you know, stay in. If I do it in San Diego, I'm going to have to put county of San Diego. And always remember to pull to pull to put in the dates correctly full dates right here where it says by that is the signer um and remember that this is the the name that you are writing is the same as it is signed in the document that you're notarizing okay um again if it's two people put and the other person make sure that there is no space left so that no one's able to add another person on there. If there is, you always put a line across. Here you sign, same way that you have it on your commission, and then you have your stamp. Like I said, the stamps don't look like this, obviously. Um, some are circle and some are rectangular. Some are small and some are big, but put your stamp on there. Um, this again is an optional part. I wasn't able to find something in the loan documents that, you know, had like a jurat like this, but if I do find one, then maybe in another video I can show you. But um, basically it's, you know, making sure that the, the wording is there. Never ever add your stamp where there is no notarial wording. That's against the law. You can't stamp it. You can't put your notary stamp on just like anywhere where it says seal because seal also means signature. And in loan documents, you will see seal for the borrower's signature, but not for you. So keep that in mind. Hey, so I hope that video was super duper helpful. And if you have any further questions, I would recommend going on the NNA website or the NNA YouTube channel or Coast to Coast University. They are a signing agency that I am going to be signing up with once I do get my notary commission in and everything. So check out those YouTube channels. They are super informational, everything you need to know. I hope that this video was helpful. And if you have any other video suggestions, um, anything that maybe you would want for me to share, then go ahead and comment below. Let me know and let's talk. Let me know where you're at in your journey and um, what are you looking forward to in this business? What is it that made you want to do this. I have um, something super exciting that I want to share. Okay, fine. I'm just going to fucking say it. <laughs> um, I am doing a giveaway. I wanted to do this giveaway when I had reached my 100th subscriber and thank God we are at 318 subscribers right now and it is amazing. So I want to do a giveaway. Um, I'm not too sure if 
maybe you guys would want me to um i really love easy notary class so i would invest in that for you um i could definitely like you know pick someone that um, is very deserving of this opportunity and you know maybe i could like do a giveaway and um pay for their their notary class or maybe i can um what else what else can i do i'm not sure but if you have any suggestions besides me giving away um a free easy notary class then let me know i definitely want to know if there's anything else that maybe you would be interested in i just I, it definitely has to do with business it has to do with something where you know i can i can give back a little um and it has to do with business so let me know what you guys think and um i'll give more details in the future like how that's gonna work so i'm very very excited because i, I want to give back you know your time is super duper valuable and I want it to be like, you know, I know that all of my subscribers are are deserving. But I know that there's some of us that, that could really, really use the help, right? So um, I'm going to work on it and I'll work out the details and hopefully you can help me out too. So let me know what would be cool, like maybe giving away an easy notary class Ooh, or maybe the um, notary to notary loan document class. Mm -hmm. That's a good one too. So um comment below let me know and let's keep in touch and have a great day stay up high vibes you guys good vibes just stay up okay um and i'll see you guys soon bye i surround my soul with the positivity that's why i don't worry about the things that i don't see